on any given Sunday, there's anywhere from 15 to 25 blood family members there. That particular day, there were 16. So my concern was for them having to witness that. Law enforcement uh, immediately was there. Both uh, West Element PD and Fort Worth uh, PD, and then some Fort Worth Marshals actually showed up shortly after that. They did take my weapon and collected the subject shotgun also. I informed the you know, police and law enforcement that I would be you know, contacting Texas Law Shield. Richard Hayes answered, was the one that answered the phone, and he immediately said that he would contact uh, Ms. Reed and have her you know, come over to the church building. When I got there, you could see that there were hundreds of law enforcement, all variety, local, federal. Um, so the area was blocked off for maybe about a quarter mile. I made my way to a parking lot where I saw a few local officers and identified myself, said that I was the attorney for Mr. Wilson. So at that point I was escorted into the church and I was able to meet with Jack and Jack and I had a private room where we were able to speak. The conversation with Ms. Reed was about the event, what occurred, how it occurred, how I had been you know, dealt with by law enforcement, how I was feeling, making sure that I was doing okay from an emotional aspect of it. Then, you know, basically, you know, helping me in dealing in conversations with law enforcement and FBI. The police and law enforcement and FBI, ATF, um, they had all reviewed a lot of that footage by that point, and it was really clear very quickly on that um, Jack was a hero and what he had done was completely justified. It's pretty standard that the police are going to take any firearm involved in any shooting, whether it's completely justified or not. They want to confirm, you know, that the firearm's not involved in some other offense and um, that it doesn't lead to any questions. So with the federal government being involved, the FBI, the ATF, White Settlement, Tarrant County Sheriff's Office, um, so at least four or five different agencies, um, it's not uncommon for that to happen where everybody wants their reports to be correct and before they turn them in. But my understanding is that their plan is to go ahead and present the case, which would be standard at the Tarrant County level so that a grand jury can make a determination that he was justified. So a case like this with so many levels of law enforcement, it would not be uncommon for it to take three to six months for them to receive the case. Obviously the statute of limitations, there is none for this type of offense if they thought Jack did anything wrong. And um, so I think they're probably not gonna rush it. I don't have any concerns about the delay in the process from Tarrant County DA's office uh, because it's just a going through the process. I think that's, you know, and that's fine because I'm comfortable with that. I'm comfortable with what the events and how they went down as far as from a legality standpoint. We've had numerous conversations and contact since that time, her making sure that, you know, I'm okay, making sure that there's not anything that she needs to do to assist, you know, dealing with the Tarrant County DA's office as far as, you know, making sure that, you know, everything is okay with them and just basically supporting me in my you know, efforts, you know, since the event. I think it's clear that he was legally justified. I don't think there's any question from anybody. Just because he's cleared in a criminal case doesn't give him automatic um, protection in a civil suit. This is such an egregious example that I, I really can't see somebody trying to sue Jack in this situation. I tell people all the time, anybody can sue anybody in the state of Texas, really across the country. And I know that Law Shield, obviously, they will handle his civil defense if it comes up. And I think he just really was a perfect person for this situation, because a lot of people probably would have hesitated or would have been too emotional to do what needed to be done. The incident you know, reaffirmed my concern that the society as a whole has gone away from God, has gone away from moral stability, if you will. Uh, there are you know, 
evil forces out there at all times, and whether it's in church, whether it's at the grocery store or your Walmart or anywhere else, you know, there's always that risk of you know, someone attacking someone and being, you know, thrown in, possibly thrown into the thrust of trying to protect someone. I continually carry every day. Basically, if I'm dressed, I'm carrying. I would not recommend people to carry without some kind of legal coverage because you never know when you may have to use your firearm. Texas Law Shield is a complete package from the time of an incident all the way through. There's no stopping point once you're, you're signed up with Law Shield. My name is Jack Wilson, and I'm a proud member of U.S. and Texas Law Shield.